Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fast Electronic Lab. I bring to you Fast Electronic, and of course, you're probably wondering what is going on. We see a monitor, we see a MacBook Pro, we see a PS4 controller, we see the Elgato Game Capture HD. That is correct. Uh, today, as of today, PlayStation released update 1.7. So I thought we would do a great little quick tutorial on how to get your Elgato Game Capture HD connected to your brand new PS4. You know, connected to either then your monitor or your receiver and into your MacBook Pro and our PC. So I thought we should do what we do best. I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show. Let's check out the installation of the PS4 and the Elgato Game Capture HD using the new update 1.7 today. All right, so we got everything that we need for our installation here. We can go ahead and actually take the PS4 controller out of the way. We don't need that for right now. Things we're going to need for the installation, you're going to need your MacBook Pro or your PC. In this example, we're using a MacBook Pro. You've got your Elgato Game Capture HD. You've got the HDMI cable that was supplied with your Elgato Game Capture. You probably already have another HDMI cable that's going from your PS4 to your TV or your receiver now. And then you'll just want the USB cable that was supplied from your Elgato. So to make this real simple here, we've got the PS4 over here, we've got the MacBook here. I'm going to put this MacBook actually on my lap just for the sake of the video here. And I'm going to turn around the PS4 for you guys so you can see the back of these connections here. So what we've got is we're actually going to want to take the HDMI for our first one. Just plug in the HDMI. So you've got the HDMI out for your PS4. One simple cable, HDMI out from your PS4. That's perfect because that's all you really need. So from HDMI out on your PS4, you're going to come into the HDMI in on your Elgato. Okay, great. HDMI in to Elgato. Sweet. Now we want to take that other supplied HDMI cable that you either had with your PS4 or already connected to your TV or receiver. You want to take that HDMI out from your Elgato and plug in your other cable. So what you've done, all you've done really, is you've created... The PS now has a cable going into the Elgato and back out. So this is just allowing that block, the capture, so to speak, in between. This is the device that allows that to happen. So we can move that back out of the way here. With the Elgato Game Capture HD, you're only going to have one other cable, and that's going to be your USB cable. So you want to plug in your USB cable. It goes in on the side with the HDMI out. There's only one side for that to go. Plugs in on the same side there. That's actually what you're going to plug then into your MacBook Pro, into your Mac Air, into your PC, and just make the appropriate USB connection onto your Mac or your PC, which have you. We're using a MacBook Pro Retina display, but you could use a PC. You just want to make sure you got the USB plugged into there. So don't mind the cables because this is just a tutorial. And with that other HDMI cable, for example, if you're using a monitor or you're using a receiver, you saw in the beginning there, we had a, an HDMI res, uh, capable monitor. So we actually just made connection to the back of the monitor here with a single HDMI connection. So we got a single HDMI connection into our monitor. And we got the Elgato plugged in. HDMI in from the PS4. HDMI out to our monitor. Here's our USB to our MacBook. So, yeah, just a real quick little simple tutorial, and then you got your MacBook, boom. And I'll show you guys the update 1.7 here on the actual user interface, but just wanted to give you guys a real quick brief tutorial. Installing the Elgato Game Capture HD with your brand new PS4. The release of the update 1.7 came out yesterday, so now HDCP blocking is now not blocked. So we can actually now capture that port. So I thought we would do justice and give you a real quick Elgato Game Capture HD installation on the brand new PS4. Brought to you by the way we do it over here at Team Fell. I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Fast, Electronic, and Loud. If we could, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. It does help us out. And check out part two as we show you how to check the settings on your PS4 to make sure you're fully able to then capture some brand new PS4 gameplay. So if we could, guys, like I said, please... Give us a thumbs up for this video. Little thumbs up. It does help us out. Thanks a lot, guys. Ryan Rake, the host of your show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.
And I know you guys will probably want to see this hooked up in a real-time application, so I'll show you there here, and we'll just add this to the video. You had your existing HDMI out off your PS4, so HDMI out on your PS4 is going to come into HDMI in on your Elgato, and then you take HDMI out of your Elgato, and that either is going to go up to your television or your home theater, depending on how your setup is. And then you've got the single USB cable coming out of the Elgato, and that's going to connect to your Mac or PC. Just wanted to show you that in real time there, guys.